Hello, in this video I will show you how to fix certain problems that I encountered during my workflow. We'll take a look at uh, fillets, booleans and loft problems. Let's start with uh, the fillets. I have a star here and sometimes when you fillet an object, if you have a very small angle somewhere, you may get uh, artifacts. In fact, if I try to fill it, as you can see, I'm using a very low value, like 0 0.03, but I'm getting this kind of uh, strange shape. That's because the two points are overlapping, so we get this uh, artifact. If I reduce it to 0 0.01, it is completely fine, but uh, if I go higher, we get this problem. In this case, uh, if you want a bigger fillet on these edges, you may want to use the fillet set option, so 0 0.05 in general, and then I will use the fillet set, new point set, I will select this point and this point, done, and then I will choose my radius, I change the values to 0 0.05 for the general fillet, so this edge here, 0.01 for the small fillet. As you can see, we get a nice fillet here, a bigger fillet going on on the other edges. You can create how many fillet set you want to give different values based on the points. Another solution is to make this part larger so we don't get those artifacts. Let's take a look at another example. Here you have a um, cylinder. Let's say I want to fillet this area and the edges. Now in this case, if I select this edge and this edge, also this one, I will do the fillet command. This is fine. And then I'm going to fillet the inner area like this. As you can see, we get uh, artifacts because the fillet uh, isn't working properly. Even if I go very low, 0 0.01, as you can see, the solid is broken. In this case, I recommend filleting everything at once. So we add this inner cube to the selection and then use the fillet command and we can make it bigger or smaller. How we want it to be. Let's now take a look at uh, a boolean problem that uh, I encountered some days ago. I want to boolean difference this cylinder with this cube, but uh, if you notice uh, the cube is uh, located under this straight line which divides my cylinder into two parts. So if I boolean difference this cube and then I want to fillet it, it uh, won't work. Even if uh, I deselect these two edges and select uh, this one to go around and then try to do a fillet, it won't work. In fact, uh, as you can see, we are getting strange things going on. The solution is uh, rather simple. You take your cube and then move it a little bit upward so it is not parallel with the face of a cylinder, but instead it goes, it is a bit above like this. And then you do the Boolean difference. And now if I select my wall loop and do a fillet, it will work as it should be. Okay. Another thing related to Boolean operations is the union. If you want to join two solids, so your main solid continue parallel with other solid, this second solid must be parallel with the face of your desired object you want to unionize. So I select the cylinder and the cube. I use the union Boolean and as you can see, it made this continuation without uh, any staircase effect or something uh, similar. The last example is related to the loft uh, command. Here you have uh, two identical curves, however this, this one has a fillet 
on all the points while this one doesn't have any if i try to loft them at a first glance it may appear okay but uh, if you notice at the edges where the curvature will begin we have artifacts when you perform a loft command the two curves must be the same in terms of uh, fillets if you have one curve that doesn't have any fillets and the other one with fillets then you will get those uh, artifacts so to resolve this issue you can either fillet this curve or you can for example create a duplicate of this one and then create a little bit and perform the loft command and as you can see we have this nice fillet going on without any problem those were all the problems that i encountered so far I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case leave a like to support the channel, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents, if you have any questions comment below and I'll see you in the next one.